Danny McBride, Natalie Portman, James Franco, Zoe Dachanel. Wouldn't it be great if they all did a movie together? Oh, wait, they did. What do you get when you take a little Pineapple Express and mix it in medieval times? You know what you get? Your Highness. Which stars James Franco and Jane McBride as two brothers? Franco is a young, dashing knight who is loved by women and worshipped by men. And Jane McBride is... is not. But one day, James Franco's fiancée, played by Zoe Dashinal, is kidnapped by an evil wizard. Yeah, I'm using that term loosely, despite. Have to work together. And during their travels, they come across a young, beautiful... Yeah, beautiful. Female warrior, played by Natalie Portman. And she joins them on their journey. But will they succeed? And do you really care? Well, I didn't, but if you do, you're going to see the movie to find out. Now, just remember, this movie is rated R for a reason. It's got a lot of raunchy jokes and all that. And I give this movie a 5 out of 10. Well, okay, I'm going to start off with what I liked about the movie. I like Danny McBride. I like James Franco. Love Natalie Portman. They all have such beautiful comedic chemistry. They all just play off each other perfectly. I love the sort of comedy team that James Franco and Danny McBride had. James Franco's the straight man, and Danny McBride is just the incredibly obnoxious guy. He just played that to perfection. And uh, I like Natalie Portman's... I loved her character. She, uh, she was quite a badass female, take-no-prisoners type of character. I mean, okay, if you didn't like Danny McBride's scene where he beats up Robert Downey Jr. in a wheelchair and due date, well, you're going to love seeing him get his butt kicked by Natalie Portman in this film. I did. <laughs> And I love how she's able just to keep a straight face during all his incredibly obnoxiousness. He just, she just does it perfectly. Now I'm going to get in what I didn't like about this movie. The humor. Now I like raunchy humor and all that. I like The Hangover. I love uh, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Not the second one. I love the Hot Tub Time Machine and all that. And, but the problem is with this film... It throws out so many raunchy jokes after another to the point where it's not even funny. You don't even get time to breathe. It just keeps throwing and throwing to the point where, like, oh, what am I? What's going on here? Cut it out. You know, it just, it just kind of, I just kind of got lost in that, and that's what why I didn't like it so much. And aside from McBride, Franco, and uh, Portman, none of the characters, none of the other characters were very interesting. Nobody just really grabbed your interest. Oh yeah, Zoe Dashinal has one funny scene in this movie. Other than that, she's pretty much, pretty much a boring character. And uh, and, it, and it does spoof. It goes from spoofing uh, Clash of the Titans, Lord of the Rings, and uh, Conan at some point. But and I just, I think it just got carried away with itself. That was my biggest. That was the biggest problem with this movie. That's why this movie gets a five out of ten. And the reason why it doesn't go any lower because of McBride. Franco important. That's the only reason. Well, if you're in the mood for a real, real launch fest, I suggest see this movie. But if, but if you want to see a better raunchy comedy, uh, rent, uh, rent Hot Top Time Machine, or The Hangover, or Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle, because those, at least those films give you time to breathe. 
this one does it. It just keeps throwing out and out to the point where I'm just getting a real headache. And like I said, the gross out gags to the point where they weren't even funny. They were just sick. Just making me sick. That's what it was doing. So that's my review to Your Highness. Okay. Bye-bye.